Hello. Uh, in the previous story, we talked about how to uh, expose our API and our endpoints, uh, of course, uh, using the Open API UI Swagger UI. But that was kind of a lengthy process. So today we are going to see how to make it a little bit faster or even easier in less than a minute. Uh, you will be done, and that will be done by, of course, adding the Quaker Small Rare. Uh, open API extension to our project by uh, adding the de this dependency here in our form file. So at the end of this, we expect to uh, have our project or our Quarkus project opening up in a, a Swagger UI like this and exposing our uh, endpoints, which is ideally using, of course, we're using our uh, default Quarkus uh, first um, project so it will be exposing a hello world endpoint here so this is how it's going to be looking like and uh, other than the old way of uh, accessing it as localhost port 880 and uh, of course we have the hello world which is hello from rest is reactive and this is how it shows up which is the ideal uh, project quarkus project so if you look at the code it's a normal uh, greeting resource it's just a uh, a startup project for Quarkus uh, by default this is how it comes so if you try to run your Maven uh, just try to deploy it in Maven by the way uh, deploying in Maven you might not know but you go to Maven project then go to plugins uh, look for Quarkus so drop Quarkus and under Quarkus don't look for anything else. Leave around the build, leave around the create, go for leave around the deploy, but go for Quarkus div. So you double tap on Quarkus div, and the project will be uh, running, and it will expose all your endpoints on the localhost. By default, it normally exposes at port 880, but uh, you can change, of course, the port. We shall later on look uh, uh, on how to change the port. In any case, if you have another app. On your computer that is using that port 880 so it will be busy and it will throw an error here that the port is so busy so you need to uh, open up the application in different ports so we shall see later on in another video next video after this how to change the port and we uh, expose our app through another port if i told the port the default port 880 is busy so the project successfully runs and you can see quarkus and uh, it shows that um, it's now listening at localhost 880 so you can visit our localhost 880 and you can see its default congratulations you've made a quarkus application this is actually the default uh startup project or hello world you can call it like that hello is the first project you can navigate here where we have our first path endpoint so you can either click on this to the endpoint and we will automatically open our endpoint while we have hello heart rest easy reactive you can see it here in our code okay you can see uh, we have uh, a path the hello world path and a greeting resource and our hello class uh, that is uh, I will be returning a string and now returning a string, this is the string that you have that you're going to return. And no wonder you can see it in the browser. Hello from REST is reactive. So this is the traditional way, or it's uh, normally the first way to expose the endpoint. But uh, you can do it in a better way. That's what I was about to show you. Uh, why you can do it in a Quarkus UI just like this one. And it's actually a simple process. Okay, uh, let's start off with this simple process. Okay, let's start off by uh, visiting the open, I mean the quarkus.io. Uh, yeah, if you use the default page or default home page for quarkus. And uh, by visiting this, we'll be interested in the documentation. Here. and once we reach the documentation we shall be most likely interested in uh, uh, the swagger ui of course open api 
so once you reach the documentation we come to filter and search for open api so before you finish it you will see you have using open api and swagger ui so click on this and in this you will see the guidelines uh what uh for everything that you're going to add uh, into our project to make it uh, of course expose it to the swagger ui so i would like you to scroll down to this section where we expose the open api uh, specifications uh, you just need to add the open api extension to your quarkus application and of course you can do this by adding this dependency in your pom dot uh, xml file so let's copy this and take it to our pom dot uh, xml file so this is our project go to your pom file which is this here and look for dependencies now here i have dependencies uh, inside the dependencies paste uh, the dependency of .io quarkus quarkus small rail open api the one that we just copied from uh, the documentation so after pasting it automatically uh, rerun for example you first pause or stop whatever has been running then go to marvin rerun or relaunch the project as so you can download every dependency that needs and then finally it will be uh, publishing it again and you can access it on swagger you can see project connect swagger uh, it has started and uh, in a couple of minutes we shall be having the project configured at publish on swagger ui perfectly okay now it's done project on adb blah 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 started in that listening at port 880 but if you look at down here what you have the installed features we are looking at uh, having uh, the small rare swagger ui if at all it's in yeah it's here small raya open api swagger ui so it's a uh, part of the installed features and after this you can successfully now go to your browser it's already running once you see the red button here it's or the green button if you are on the uh, old version of the ide but in the new version you see this red means the project is already running on a swagger ui and uh, this is how you're going to access the Swagger UI. Uh, look for or type in localhost uh, port 880 slash 2 slash Swagger uh, dash UI. This is the URL where you're going to be finding the project. And now you can see our project connect Swagger has already been uh, published on the UI. So this is a completely different. This is our, our first API for the greeting resource. And then this is our get uh, hello uh, of course the uh, first uh, endpoint so when you try it out here and execute automatically it will be in the response body you will find hello from rest uh, is reactive unlike the old way of the local host which was this one now we have a new way which is actually a more pleasant and a more looking way uh, good looking way well have a um, uh, the API itself and the and the endpoint exposed here. Then when you execute, you can even test out the endpoint. You execute and then you will see the REST body hello from REST is so that's all as easy as that. You can uh, try to recap a little bit. Just get the dependency or quite a small layer open API dependencies from uh, uh, the open API documentation here, just like I've showed you. And then paste it in your POM file. After pasting it in POM file, rerun the project, and you will find it at uh, uh, this uh, URL of uh, localhost port 880 slash swagger dash UI. So that's why I'll see in the next video where we shall be uh, seeing how to uh, change the port on which you're outputting your project. For example, this is port 880, we can change it to port 881 or 882. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.